Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to look at headers and footers and how they work. So first of all, I've got a document on the screen. Now, to get into the header and footer, the quickest way, I believe, is to just point your mouse to the top of the screen and double click. As soon as you do that, this little box comes up, header, telling you you are in your header. And on the ribbon, you have got the header and footer tab active with lots of tools to help you um, place your header or do whatever you want. Now, because I've got my ruler on, I can see that I've got a center tab and a right tab in this header. So that would be something I could use. But basically, whatever you put in the header repeats on every single page. So if I type my name and then press tab, it will go into the middle. So I want to put the date in there. So I've got an option there to put date and time in, which I will. I'll put the date and time. And if I have this ticked, it means it will always be the correct date. And then if I tab again, it takes me to the end and I could put sales or whatever I want there. And then there is an option on the top to go to footer, which I will drop down to the bottom. And there you can put the page numbers, um, whatever you want to do. Now, if I go through um, page number through this option and bottom of page, and I'll just do a simple one. This one, plain number three. It just puts it over on the right hand side. And that's in the header. Now, to get out of the header, you can either click click this button or just double click on the page somewhere. Now, if we go back to the top, you'll see the header slightly grayed out, but it doesn't print uh, like that. It's just because it's in the header. But if I do a hard page break, so I'm just going to do control and enter, you'll see that that is now repeated on every page. And if I go down to the bottom, you can see that that is now page two. So that was a very simple way of doing a header and footer. Now, if I just double click back into it, just have a, a little talk about the footer. Now, the way that this goes in, which is slightly irritating, I'm just going to delete this footer out, actually. Let's say you wanted to put the file name and path or something like that in there. Um, or, or anything, just a sentence even. So if I, if I type, um, oh, we'll just type mine. I'll put the file name and path in. Let's do that. Um, in document info, it's in it. File name file path that's too much too long just do file name um, file name okay now if I go and put the, the page numbers in like I did before in exactly the same way watch what happens it goes over the top of that file name and that is even though the, the number is just there you have to imagine imagine that this is like a strip of paper that you've just put across the bottom of the document and obviously that's no good if you want more than one thing on the bottom so i'm now i'm going to do Control z undo what you have to do in this case is tab across to where you want the page number to be and do it slightly different not through this option not through uh, the building blocks but through field options field and then you can go for page um numbering page and then you've got one two three there at the top uh, and i'll just click okay to one two three and the same principle will apply so that should still say two at the bottom which it does but now you've got the best of both worlds because you can have the file name and the page number on rather than just one overwriting the other one or it's not overwriting it's just going over the top of it and again to come out of this you you just double click on the page now if i just go back into it one last time double click and just have a quick look at some of these features you've got there so header and footer these are preset ones so these all come out of the building blocks gallery which is in quick parts so it's all stuff that's inside here if i go to gallery you've got auto text at the top there but if i come down you'll have headers and footers there's footers lots of footers oops and then lots of headers. They're just pre-formatted styles and you can save the one you've just done in there as well. So if I wanted to um, save this one, if I highlight these two and then go to quick parts and save selection to the gallery. So spelling one, I'll call it. It's going to go into footers. So footers and it wants to be normal so it's available for every document and i'll click ok and then if i just do a new document 
and then get into the header so I'm in the header go to the footer go to the footer and then I should be able to insert that through this through the building blocks so um, I've already forgot what it was called but if I go down to footers I should be able to find that there's the start of the footers and then you're basically looking for the one that we did which may well be down the bottom spelling one that's it there and then you insert that and then you get that across the bottom so that's a way to get around the issue of headers and page numbering overwriting what you've got in the footers i'll close this one down and just do Control w to close that document i don't want to save it and then we're back to this one and let's have a quick look at what else we've got on there so you can put pictures and anything you like in the header and footer but what, when you put pictures in there you must make sure you use wrap text i'll just show you what i mean by that if i just get myself a picture in examples and then archive photos waterloo my little dragoon man there we go so he comes in and he takes up all the space in the footer so you have to do wrap text which basically if i select this option it'll sit behind the text and i can position this wherever i want if I go to the top of the document, I can sit it in the document itself as opposed to the header. And then because it's a picture, you've got all the different effects. You've got transparency options and make it fade it out a little bit or more than that. Like so. But you must set that up to whichever one you want. Otherwise, it'll just take up half the screen. And then if I double click out of this, there it is, like a little watermark. And if I come back down the screen... It's on every page because it's in the header and footer. And that's how you do that. Now, I can't double click on that because it's in the header and footer. So for me to get back into there, I need to activate the header and footer. Double click. And then I can click on the man and then move him. I'll do whatever I want to him. Like so. And then the rest of this is for a different session. But that's all I want to talk about on headers. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.